cream shade, probably let's say three to four shades darker than your regular foundation to get that dark edge. <laughs> or she has Anastasia Beverly Hills too. There you go. Which I highly recommend. Well, if you have any, um, my words are crazy these days. But if you have any like uh, Instagram or Facebook following her, because she always posts the most amazing like contour designs. This is just one of my Anastasia Beverly Hills. They're a makeup line. Um, she also she's like famous for the brows. Like she has the most phenomenal brow. Um, she mostly she sells a lot of brow products too. She sells a lot of makeup. But um, on their Instagram, they're always posting um, not only their own contour, but other famous makeup artists. Okay, right here, I'm going. You see where her um, zygomatic bone for the arches of her cheek? Oh yeah. You're gonna want to see right where it kind of comes, and you're gonna want to make that more defined. So we're taking that dark line from her hair to here. We're basically gonna make a big E on the side of her face. You take it in at the temples right above that other highlight that I just made. It's not going to be real well defined, but when it comes into play later, you'll see how it all blends in. And you can do this with a blush brush too. I just found this little brush um, with one of my foundations. I hated it for the foundation, but it works perfect to get these edges. And then we're going to kind of want to make it. We're going to blend. Like I said, we're going to make an E, a reverse E, and a regular E to get these angles. We really want to find that, ch that chin. So you get like pictures, you can see the woman with the long, long, long neck, and you can see that edge. It's a really pretty cut. But obviously, you want to blend because that's where it's the most common area to not blend it into the neck. And they're like, you're totally wearing makeup, aren't you? We don't want people to know we're wearing makeup, even though we are. 